Okay, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me out there in the world? Say something. Give me a sign. Tell me. Tell me I've turned my microphone on. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hello, hello, hello. I, I believe that's wifey. Hello, wifey. Is my mic on? It's the most important thing. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> yes, we are live. Hang on. Right, okay, I've just got to authorise a widget. Uh, let's have a look. Let's authorise this widget. Let's try. Oh, hang on. No. Uh, I need another one. I need that one. Uh, this one, definitely. Give me the widget. Give me the widget. Come on. It's not letting me have the widget. It's, no, it's fighting. It's going, no. Are you kidding me? I can have one, here you go. One last go. One last go with the widget. Um. Well, do we have a widget? Let's try that one. Oh, oh. There's like a Cylon thing going past on the window. Is it going to be authorised? Come on, you can do it. You can give me authorization. I gave you authorization. What's going on? No! Not off. Why the hell is that not authorizing? Right, okay. The, the only reason that this is currently important is because I'm now going to go back to YouTube, back to my, like, my own live performance that I'm doing right now, that's muted, thankfully. Um, yeah, because. It was supposed to be camera here, yeah, on my my lovely face, and then right here, right, right this this border here, I've got I've got a window. There's a whole window there, you know, that was just for your chat. That was literally just for your chat on stream. Um, however, it's not working. It, 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 here's the weird thing, right? It is working on my dashboard. So on my dashboard, I've got yeah. Yeah, everyone's having a chat. Yeah, great. Hey, we can hear you. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Hey. Yeah, on stream though. No, no, not having it. Not having it at all. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and uh, hope that I can have, uh, I can keep up with the chats and things going on. I've got it on my second screen. Uh, so yes, hello. I better start actually. Do, start talking about this stream. I've been on for five minutes going, hello, can anyone hear me? Hear me? Uh, so what I'm doing is a mashup between what is called Intfic on Twitter, which is interactive fiction. And what they do is they run games where, you know, you are a wizard, you are an elf, you are a goblin, you are a cyberpunk, you, you know, any sort of role play in fantasy or books, you know, those characters can be brought to life in a new story by people who will write, a, you know, anything from a couple of tweets to, you know, a small chapter in a book. And at the end of it, you've got a decision. It, it's, it's like choose your own adventure, but everybody else is playing it at exactly the same time. But and you can only make one decision. So it, it, it's uh, it's quite choose your own adventure by committee. And it's very interesting because uh, there are times you're sat there looking at and it runs for a certain amount of time and you, there's an hour left and you are literally retweeting it going, look, just vote for something. Because um, Legend Jerry, when he runs games, um, yeah, he's quite harsh. <laughs> if... if, if if we don't come to a really clear decision, he'll just he'll just start killing people. It's like, uh, no, we like people at the party. They're helpful. Thank you. Uh, vote. So what's been going on for this last week? 
is on Monday I started an Intfic thread that was all about Cyberpunk 2077 and the character that I'm going to be playing. So essentially I, I will be playing a character designed by an internet committee of people I know and complete strangers. And I've got to play the character a certain way. And I'm playing on very difficult difficulty. So, you know, it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. And it's going to... Uh, involve some interesting choices. Both in character generation and as I go on. Um, the first challenge, I have to say, which everybody threw up. Which I was praying praying they wouldn't go down it but I think it was it was like an 80% 80 or 100% of the votes were naked I have to play cyberpunk with the character naked on very hard difficulty thank you I, 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 you know, I was looking for a challenge something to get me going so yeah I'm going to be playing a naked character in Cyberpunk on very hard difficulty. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, Ryan. Hey, how are you, Ryan? Thank you. Happy... Hey, Chris. Happy birthday. Slancher. Slancher. Slancher, Ryan. Thank you very much. Thanks, bro. Um, yeah. Um... Cheers, man. Thank you. Yeah, having a good day. Oh, yeah, today's my birthday. Just to, you know, let everyone know. <laughs> um, so, I'm playing a naked ninja um, who is silly and fluff-headed. Also is sneaky and deceptive. And also is antisocial and violent. I've, I've got to somehow th fit those three traits together and as I said I was, I was going to mash them together like Play-Doh because I've got no choice it's like right my, the, the, what that is going to affect is uh, the dialogue choices and you know how the character look and how the, the things are going to be spent so um, tell you what let's let's uh, let, uh, yeah let's drum the game up actually let's uh, let's spin it up get it going and then we can jump into the character creator and we can go through um, all of the all the options uh, and see what we can see if we can come up with a character that fits everyone's descriptions. Uh, so let me. I've got this. I've got to change scene. Uh, here we go. In-game scene. Is that up? Is it up? No, there you go. Let's go reflect back. There we go. There it is. Excellent. Excellent. And there we happy birthday. I forgot today was the actual day. Honestly, man, I am. Um, it's one of those things. I will tell people, I, I will occasionally forget to tell people. Um, hey! Body count lottery's paying out in 30. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Net runners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica. Well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Welcome to Cyberpunk. Um, yeah, so th that's it. This is set in Night City in the year 2077. This is a based on the fantasy system created by R. Talsorian Games. Um, Mike Pondsmith was the main writer for the whole thing. 
and originally it was set in 2012 then 2020 and the the story kind of finished at 2023 there was no releases at that point to kind of finish off what was called the fourth corporate war and something that you'll see in the game is they 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 do kind of they fill in the gap they fill in that bit of story that was totally missing but a little bit spoilery we'll get to that in a minute so let's get into let's make us a cyberpunk um okay new game okay the first thing is street kid everybody went for a street kid um, I think there was one vote for Nomad, but uh, yeah, overwhelming in favour of Street Kid. So here we go. I'm going to put on my, I'm going to put on my sample voice. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak. Serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. Right. So here we go. This this was the second big decision. Was male or female V. So let's start with female V. And yeah. <laughs> so from this, first thing to change is I'm V male voice so female being male voice um, they have skin tone let's just go through it The little video of you in the bottom corner looks great. Thank you very much. Um, hey, cool. It's it's a little weird effect I've got because the camera is sat on my bass speaker, which is kind of a, uh, a glass dome. So what you're seeing is at the very bottom here is is the reflection, or I think it's a double reflection. Um, through that, and I, I just put the camera there because I thought, yeah, that's stable, and now I can look at, at the, the audience. And I looked up at the screen, and I was like, hey, actually, that looks nice. <laughs> so, um, what I'm very tempted, you see, when you think like an antisocial, violent, silly, fluff headed, you know, deceptive kind of character you kind of think of a Harley Quinn you know kind of bright purples greens sort of character now I know I, I went through this a couple of days ago and I had a look I can't do a Harley Quinn that is the thing there's very limited choice at the moment there are supposed to be big updates coming um, and we're hoping that there'll be some sort of character redesign with that um I like that. Like t I got a, a darker tone tan, which you would have. Okay, skin type. Oh, that's too much time outdoors. Gonna be the important one. Okay, the hairstyle. So this is this is the starting one, and I think hang on, if I go back, 
there are 39 hairstyles. Um, <laughs> you see why I put an hour to this? Um, so basically, it is all about getting that sort of silly fluff headed thing. So to begin with, we've got this very dark red kind of thing to begin with. So what I want to do is I want to lighten this up as much as I can for the moment. To basically make it viewable so you can see what's going on. So there we go. So we'll start with that one. fluff headed on it but I think I think it needs more antisocial violent sort of side to it. I, I basically want fluffy psycho I think is is what the audience is looking for. Um that looks a bit like um what was it? She, uh, is it Antward the band? One of them was in, uh, the two of them were in Chappie. I think she's got that sort of, that sort of hairstyle. That's, that's a, that's contender number 19. <laughs> that could work. 19, 21. Okay, 23. <laughs> 19, 21, 23. See, that's, I think that is the closest you get to a Harley Quinn in the whole thing. It's, um, it's very much a, uh, there's no pigtails kind of thing in this, I don't think. <clears throat> well, I kind of like that, though. I do kind of like that. 36. Oh, ball. Right, so what, what do we have? So we 19. 21. Uh, 23. I like 23. <laughs> That's kind of a like a sideshow bob look. What do you think? Twenty three is cool. Silly and fluff headed and the violent side kind of covered. It's it's <laughs> it's kind of both, I like it. So we'll we'll have a look. Um let's see what other colours we can put in here. Personally, what I, I, I think a lot of a lot of us would have appreciated in the character generation is if you've seen my Star Trek videos, Star Trek Online videos. It, it, essentially, all they need to do is put two boxes instead of one. You know, so you don't have to have, to have all these pre-blended things. You put two or three boxes in. You let the players just kind of go, yeah, like you know, a green underbit with a purple, or you know what 
it's you know, I'm not saying it that's my personal thing. It's like whatever the players would like. At the moment. I mean there's that. That's just Right. Is it just me or does that scream I am the night motherfucker? Seriously. That, that's Yeah, the the blood red underside, the violent purple, you know, on the edges. We, we, we can we can start there. We can start there. Uh, now eyes. Right, again, this is one of those things. 21 different eyes. So what I'm looking for is um, it's essentially it would be like a um, like a, a Japanese kawaii cut of eyes. Those big oversized eyes. We're looking for someone who will, is using their eyes to intimidate, to be violent, to be aggressive, but also they're using those eyes to. to to get a lot of information, you know, they're, they're going to be sneaky, they're deceptive, they're taking everything in. But at the, soul, at the same time, this whole silly, fluff headed, you know, it, 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 it's like Batman with big eyes, like, I am the knight! So, um, yeah, that's what, that's what we're going for. Is we're, we're looking for a big, like, open, kind of like that, you know. So five. <sighs> That's the sort, those are the sort of eyes that are eyeing your, your spleen because it looks to be in good condition and you can get some dollars for it. That's what those eyes say to me at 15. So yeah, let, let's keep 15. Oh, 18, 18's quite, yeah. I like six. I'm liking six. Six just has something about it. There is that little bit of a scowl and that kind of thing happening. So I'm going to go with that for the moment. Um, now, as far as eyes go, you've got eye color, you've got darks. Nice up blue, grey, greens, the blue, like a, a, a light blue, a red, a purple, gold. I like that. Just 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 to start, that's that works for me. But then again we've got the cyber options as well, so you've got, you know, the same things but with that's a very drunk fee. But then we've got the cyber options, so targeting scopes, just plain black, um, digital, cat size rings, pirates. Uh, swirly swirlies, webs, more targeting scopes, and all the rest of it. Ew. What I'm looking at is, you know, things like, that's kind of creepy. That's just weird. That's kind of cool, funky. This one I like because it doesn't, to me, that doesn't look like a web. 
that literally looks like a tunnel in, into the person. So, you know, that's, I like, I, that's one of the reasons I like that one. On the other hand, that freaks me out. That completely and utterly freaks me out. Um, if you've seen Babylon 5, the series, Lita Alexander, when, when she goes full, like, Vorlon enhanced powers, that's what her eyes look like. And that... That scares me. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Because, you know, seeing those eyes in a dark alleyway, you'd freak out. Lita eyes, yeah, exactly. Um, right. Yeah, sorry. I've got yeah. Uh, noses is where I'm at. Sorry, I, I kind of got gross there because basically I'm I'm sitting here focused on the screen, kind of watching not only the way the the nose is changing, but also how it changes the look of the face. Um, eighteen. Okay, I like eighteen. Eighteen twenty.
By the way, if um, <coughs> if anyone sees a colour or um, or a choice that they'd like, let me know in the comments. Um, the number is coming up on there, and I am just literally just going to be flipping through these, looking for kind of that that kind of yeah. That is. Check this. That, that's a good jaw. That is a good jaw. I like that jaw. Jaw 19. Let's go back to jaw 19. There we go. That's a jaw with some, you know, that that jaw can take a few hits from the looks of it. Ah, that's a, that's a fighter's jaw. Twenty-one different sets of ears, people. Twenty-one. <laughs> um, to be honest, it comes down to is an ear. It, it, not really going to be looking at the ears a lot. To be quite frank with you, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Those ears there. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> Now, a scary cyborg, scary cyborg time. Um, and these are all just seriously cosmetic. There is no um, advantage to these at all. Uh, it's just, it is just purely fashion at this rate, but. Do kind of it does add something. Uh, I don't want to go for that because that's Jackie's. I'll explain who Jackie is. You'll see. You find out who Jackie is quite soon. So I, I just kind of want something. Now that could that could be scary. Um, oh, here we go. Right. Yeah. Throat cyborg. That one. I think that kind of looks okay. 
that really sort of you know puts a lot of emphasis on the eyes and how black and deep and endless they are yeah I'll go with that <laughs> right facial scars here we go uh, basics basics yeah oh ouch that looks weird Is that, that's scary, right? That's, that's scary. That would scare me. <sighs> so it's facial scar six. The rest is bruising and stuff. War damage off. Okay, I'm gonna go with six. I'm sh there is a cultural reference to this. I'm not sure what it is, but there was there is um, a tribal culture, I think, that does this type of uh, the scarring uh, for the warriors. So face tattoos. That's Maori. If we had no hair, that would be so much better. Um, that I like. That I like. Japanese, I think. Born to kill. Ah, uh, no, that's yeah, USA. No, that's one of the gangs. <laughs> However, let me just say, I am taken by that one. That one's pretty out there. Then there's that one. No, I like that one. I'm liking nine. However, eight. Sneaky, violent, kind of fluffy and stuff person. Well, that's just saying straight off the bat, I am going to eat your liver. And I'm not even going to bother chilling the wine. Right, let's get some piercings in here. Let's go to off. Okay, cool. And again, um, while I'm doing this, seriously, if anyone has something they want to add or, you know, say, oh, go back to this section and want to look at this, please do. You know, I am literally going through it and I'm throwing things, ideas out, so... Uh, Feel free to co contribute, contribute to the to the creation process. Nose ring. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, there's several options with nose rings. That one's kind of cool. That's that's just like the I got everything I could pierce. Look. That's ten. I remember ten. So what have we got? We got one. One has a nose ring. Mm -hmm. 
no security in that. Uh, <coughs> let's have a look. Sorry. Uh, so we've got four. Four's kind of cool. However, as, as, what do you think? Should we, should we go with the? Is that is that the crowd favourite? That, that's that's my favourite. Is number ten. I like ten. Uh, bright pink. That's silver, gold, platinum, rose gold. I think. Nah, we want the fluffy side. And so far, you know. Yeah. I'll go with pink. Shocking pink. So, is the other one normal teeth? Metal teeth. Gold teeth. Also gold teeth. Pink teeth or normal? Get bright pink to match the yeah. We'll go bright pink to match the the whole sort of earrings and hair thing. It's either for me, it's either bright pink or you know that that silver. the silver actually
Uh, sorry, I'm getting so engrossed in this. I am, I'm actually not talking again, and I've probably not talked for about the last five minutes. Sorry about this. So yeah, um, what? I, I'm basically looking for somebody who is unsettling, looks violent, weird, fluffy, all at the same time, and I am really, really hoping that the audience is going to be happy with this. Um, however. Something weird looking. Oh, this because strangely enough the nails etc do. Oh that's cool. I like that one. That's supposed to be green, but I can see all sorts of swirls of purple etc in there. I'll take it. Um Yeah, it, it's very much a so this was a vote that happened, which is default, which is regular. Um, I didn't do nipples. There we go. Nipples. Um, body tattoos. They've already got that nice sort of more around the throat. Um, that's kind of corporate. Japanese sort of style. Like that one. Three. Oh, that's Yakuza. That. Oh, God. That's. Yeah. Basically, new, new USA heads are essentially MAGA 50 years in the future. <laughs> um, so that's Valentino's. That's kind of cool. Corporate. I like this one. I do like this one. say that's done this is this is V it's just the V I'll be playing balance the personality and also survivability. What I've got is a weapon choice of rifles and hand-to-hand. -hand. That is the only choice I have. So I definitely need reflexes. Um Stealth, because we've got the sneaky and deceptive, comes off cool. And I'm gonna split, I'm gonna split the rest evenly. So, high reflexes, well, me, kind of high reflexes, cool. Everything else, kind of average. I don't wanna specialize too soon. 
I kind of just want to have everything covered for the moment. <clears throat> and then as we go on in the character, it'd be like, right, okay, I definitely want this stat to be 20. But at the moment, there we go. Um, so, to tone your ability to increase your overall movement speed, each level reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%, increase crit chance by 1%, increase damage from mantis blades by 3 Oh, that's so good. So, then we got crit damage by 2%, resistances by 1%, stealth damage by 10%, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you in stealth by 0.5%, increase nano mono wire damage by 3 Tech is all about taking things apart, increase your armor by 5%, what armor? Uh, ram capacity, quick hack damage, quick hack duration. 5 health points, 3 stamina points, damage with fierce and arms, damage with melee weapons. Uh, so hang on. <coughs> uh, just take that. Body, increase damage, increase damage with melee weapons, increase movement penalty. While grappling and wielding a heavy, heavy machine gun. Increase movement while grappling an enemy and enemy grapple duration by 5 seconds. Yeah. Cool. Right. That's all the points. Alias V. Backstory Street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You are raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in this night city you have yet to break. So that's the stats. However, there's a little Easter egg in the game. If you click here, oh, nothing happens. Oh, click a couple of times. You see that? So, what it does is... Little thing. Oh, your name's Johnny Silverhand. Wonder what that means. So here we go. Launching the character into the game. Somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe. Listen, V, I got a problem. Serious this time. Come on, spin it. What is it now? It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. <laughs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk. But then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life, V. Truly. Yay. Right. So there we go. That's where I'm saving it. Um, see, I've got other games going on. I've been basically trying to catch up and actually, honestly, doing training for this um, over the last few weeks. But as... Um, excuse me a second. <coughs> 
Sorry, as, yes, it's uh, it's now 10 o'clock, so that is the end of the hour. I'll be streaming every night uh, from 9 till 10 o'clock. Today was literally just the character generation, trying to get the feel for the character, trying to get the right things. The game has now officially started, so tomorrow night, 9 p.m., we will be back uh, for... Here we go, let me change my scene and see. So there we go. Uh, yeah, I will hopefully get this chat thing sorted out. This thing uh, next time. It, it's it's not authorized to use YouTube. Come on. Come on, damn y'all. Nope, not working. No, it's not going to work. Damn it. Right. Okay. So anyway, uh, here we go. Thank you very, 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 very much for everyone tuning in. I had some viewers there, some people ducked out near the end. That's cool. Uh, Please tell your friends, share the link, uh, let them know that this is going on. Use the hashtag capital I N T F I uh, capital F I C. So that's int I capital I N T fic capital F and then small I C. So int fic hashtag int fic. Uh, keep an eye on that for this and also any other games that are playing because um, there's at least another twenty games. I am going to be putting their names up at the end uh, of the show I've still got a few things like you know I mean I'm proud of this start scene I'm just going to flick to it for a sec I mean that's quite snazzy right you know that looked kind of cool that took me like two hours <laughs> um, but yeah the rest of it's all generic so if I flick to this one That one hasn't been edited yet, so yeah, um, still got a few things sorted. But hey, this is the first stream. This is the first kind of thing back and doing something new with this Infic Cyber Twenty Seven Seven mashup. Thank you for thank you actually to Legend Jerry for getting me into uh, the Infic community. Uh, hi to everyone. Also, thank you to Wifey, who without whom this stream wouldn't have happened because I would still be faffing with cables by now. Um, and thank you for everyone for wishing me a happy birthday. It's been great to see, sort of do this, see people chat online again. So, yeah, tune in tomorrow, 9pm Irish time. And, you know, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye.